is we're going to do, if we do a show class map, you can see here that we have the class map, again, by default, it's a match all. And what this means is if we have multiple matches within the class map, in order for the criteria to be met, it has to match every single entry, match entry under the class map. So say we have match, you know, ACL, you know, loopback, uh, well, and actually, yeah, why do I have this here? Loop back one. So anyway, if we have multiple, what I'm trying to get at here with the match all, the difference between the match all and the match any is the match all is like a logical and expression. So it has to match every single thing within the class map, whereas in the match any, it just has to match one in order for the criteria to be met. So match all is, has everything has to be met under the class map for it to match the criteria or to match the class map whereas the match any all it has to do is match one and then it's done so let's get back into this class map and uh, and we'll do a uh, we'll do a note here on this we match the wrong ACL it's not going to work so we're going to match access group and then the name of it of course is going to be loopback zero that's the ACL that we created on uh, router one here and so now that we have classified our traffic within the class map loopback zero what we need to do is create a policy map here so the policy map we'll just name uh, test as you can see here we have specific types of policy maps just like we do class maps um, but by default we're just going to use the regular policy map here standard policy map so we'll just name it test and then here it's going to ask us here if we follow up with a question mark within the policy map configuration is it's going to be asking us you know we can also set the description we can what we're going to be using here mainly is this class feature. So in this instance, we're going to be calling the class that we just created. So we're going to do class, and then you see it's going to ask us for the, the word, and we'll just do here. Actually, before I do this, let me just go back here, and I'm going to show you guys something here. By default, there is one class already specified under the policy map, and it's called the class default. And this matches all packets that are otherwise not matching any criteria. So say we have, you know, a class map under the policy map that matches, you know, loopback zero uh, web traffic here. Well, if there's other traffic that's going across and then we apply we're going to apply this policy map under uh, serial zero zero here on router one so you know say we make some traffic that is not you know say it's going on the loopback two interface outbound to router two well by default this will not match our class loopback zero class map and so what this is going to do, it's going to be thrown into the class default class map. And the class default class map matches all traffic that is uh, otherwise not specified within a certain class map. So it's pretty much like the bit bucket where it just it, everything gets thrown into it if it's not uh, otherwise specified. And what I want to show you here before we get into the the policies and applying these policies to the interfaces is on router 2 what we're going to be doing is I'm going to show you the default of all of this traffic here actually let's see how we can do this so how we can do this is that we'll just go to router 2 I'll just create a policy map here real fast policy map is going to be named test 
and we're just going to leave it like that and then we'll just apply this policy map under the interface so for this example from router 1 to router 2 what we're going to be doing is we're going to be originating traffic on router 1 uh, one of these loopbacks here and then we're going to be you know the traffic flow is going to be from router 1 serial 0 0 outbound to router 2 serial 0 0 inbound so the way we're going to apply the policy map on router 2 is going to be inbound on serial 0 0 so we'll go to interface serial 0 0 and we will do apply the policy map by specifying the service policy command and that's going to be service policy input inbound on serial 0 0 and then we'll specify the policy map here that we created on router 2 which is test so what I want to show you here is a show command show policy map and then interface serial zero zero and this is a very awesome command what it's going to show us is the service policy that's applied to the interface uh, basically the policy map is going to show us you know the different classes within the policy map here and as you can see there's one here by default and it's called the class default policy I'm sorry the class default class and as you can see here it's already matching packets and these packets I can guarantee you're probably uh, rip packets